Hi, good morning, everybody. This is Brittany at Big Cat Rescue here in Tampa, Florida. Started this up a little early for you guys to do some sharing and some tagging for me. Happy Sunday and I'll give everybody a minute to join. But our destination is right in front of us. We're gonna go see Duchess and hopefully Priya. Bunny. I miss Dutch Bunny. Hi. Hi, pretty. Good morning, lady. <laughs> yeah, I'm following. I'm following. Thank you very much to everybody sharing. <laughs> everybody saying hello, just like Duchess. Yeah. I'm sure she floated right on top of all that pollen. <laughs> uh, I got a little picture of it. Yeah. She, also, there's a work group, so she walked her humans down. Oh, good. Yes, we can always count on her to do that. <laughs> uh, do you know where the work group's from today? So I know you were yesterday, from, but... Yeah, it was Animal Warriors yesterday. I don't know where they're from today, but okay. I'm working with them and Ryan. Oh, fun. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah. And oh. this is Isabel. I don't know if you've met her. She's one of our newer... Not in person. Hi, the whole internet's meeting you now. <laughs> Hi, Isabel. Thank you for coming and welcome. <laughs> yeah. You in the whole world. <laughs> yep. It's actually about 200 people <laughs> online. <laughs> Yeah, I know. I was going to see if, if you'd point out your girlfriend. Is she still somewhere we can see her? She's sleeping in a den. Okay. Like the outside den, the big tall one. Okay. Well, uh, at least I can zoom in on her there. All right, lady. You walk your humans to your work group. <laughs> Let's go check on Priya. I know everybody is... Um, probably concerned. I've given as many updates as I've been told recently. So I do know that Priya has been very finicky and picky to eat, but each day she is in fact eating her full amount. It just might take a few tries with the keepers getting creative on what they're offering her. So uh, originally we were actually planning to sedate her for an exam with Dr. Justin as soon as tomorrow, but it sounds like we're going to keep watching her through this week and we'll probably plan to do a vet exam with Priya probably mid to late week. So just keeping you guys in the loop on that. Unfortunately, they all had to spend most of their weekend closed in their roof sections because we had quite a bit of wind Thursday night and Friday into Saturday. So there she is. She is snoozing in her den. So that's a good thing. Um, I guess we're waiting on some supplies uh, for the hospital and since she is eating and doing um, decently well, we're still just going to be observing her, but I just wanted you guys to know that likely sometime this week, Priya will probably be brought into the Winsong Memorial Hospital for a vet exam. It has been a while. She spent the first few months <laughs> of uh, living here, going through massive medical care, 
lots of recovery, cage time, and really, really fighting for her life in the beginning. So she's gotten quite a few extra years that have been pretty chill. I see you moving that leg, lady. But that's also why she's so suspicious when it comes to any kind of medication or putting meds in her food. She just knows. <laughs> Are you going to roll out of the scene? Goofball. So if you aren't familiar with Priya's story, um, she just recently turned 19 years old. She did arrive here back in, I think it was 2016. Somebody can correct me if I'm wrong. 16 or 17. I was, I was a yellow shirt when she got here. Um, but when she arrived, she was very grouchy and very temperamental and she had a really swollen abdomen and seemed to act as if she was definitely in pain. We were a little worried because since she was rescued from a speed breeding facility, all they were doing was breeding cub after cub after cub in order for them to take those cubs immediately from her, use them, abuse them as photo props, and then they'd breed her again. And so we were a little bit nervous. Maybe she was pregnant when she arrived, but come to find out it was about a 20 pound infection in her uterus. So we removed that. She had some infections that just would not go away. And it took quite a while to get her back to 100%. But within the last year or so, I would say she's become a little more like hard of hearing or just selective hearing. She really might just be straight up ignoring us. <laughs> Um, but a lot of times she'll disappear out into the middle of this enclosure and we cannot get her attention until she gets hungry again. So, um, it has been a challenge to do her eye drops and to medicate her. So we already know that Priya is just not one to load up into a, uh, transport. So unfortunately she'll likely have to be darted in her roof section here and then we'll place her on a tarp and carry her to the transport roll her to the hospital and do a full exam so i at this moment do not have an updated exact time or day but likely this week unless she miraculously starts eating everything we put in front of her like she used to. <laughs> she used to be quite the vacuum. Let's see what Duchess is doing. Still talking to the peoples. <laughs> you don't have to come up here, lady. Okay. Hi, honey. I know, I know. So that is our update on Priya. Oh, she went in and got a drink of water. She was. She was showing off for the newbies. She's like, look how fun it is to volunteer at Big Cat Rescue. We'll get to talk to a tiger. Get to talk to a tiger. I know, honey. That pollen is everywhere. Your cleaners are coming. I'm sure of it. So you might have heard Jen say that um, there was a work group today. There was also a work group yesterday. So we've had two days in a row of some amazing groups of people that came in and helped us do some maintenance and landscaping around the property. Yesterday was actually the group that Jen runs, um, aside from being a Big Cat Rescue volunteer for 
Oh, yep. Um, gosh, Jen, Jen and Matt have been here since the beginning, basically. But aside from that, she also has uh, a group that she runs called Animal Warriors, and they go to all kinds of facilities, not just Big Cat Rescue and volunteer. And so she brought that group out yesterday, and then today I'm not totally sure which group is here, but there were quite a few of them. And what they're currently working on is the enclosure that Max and Marianne moved out of, which is becoming Manny's enclosure. That way, when it's time for Manny to leave Funcation, the goal will be to try to load him into a transport and roll him over to his new enclosure. So. I don't know what all, if any cat moves are happening this week, my guess, and this is, this is just a thought here. I don't know what the plan is and certainly nothing has been told to me, but <laughs> if I can speculate with gut feelings, if Priya is going to stop being responsive to her keepers, especially if she needs meds or the older she's getting, there is a slight chance that once she's sedated and out of that enclosure, she may move to a different enclosure. Um, potentially, if she's healthy enough from her exam, I've seen them do it before. They did it with Gilligan. Uh, he, she could leave her vet exam and go straight out to vacation rotation since she has not been out there in years. But if she's requiring medication or she can't be out in such a large enclosure, then that won't happen. But my thought is if they are planning on sedating her later in the week, that's also when Kimba is supposed to be moving home. So I don't know, there could be some swapsies. I don't see them putting Kimba up in this massive enclosure though. It's too big, <laughs> too, uh, too uh, open roof. I don't know if they would do that or not. So all speculation on my part, but a lot of times you have to take advantage of when you've got a cat out of an enclosure, what you can do. <gasps> what are you shaking? Nice grooming time. Whoa, I heard you were swimming. Or Priya could go right back out into her home enclosure. I have honestly no clue because again, I don't have a date or time or an exact plan. I just know that that's what's being talked about. Whoa, you would want a boy neighbor, would ya? <laughs> All right, well, we saw Priya and I gave you a full update on her. So if you missed it, you'll want to rewatch this because I am going to move along. We also saw Duchess. My guess is that Max and Mary Ann are going to still be separated and I don't really want to go too close to the work group just because I know it's going to be very noisy. Actually, let's let's go see Beecher and Diablo yesterday. I think maybe they, they probably featured Diablo at some point. Well, here's Cyrus. I can't walk past him. You're front and center. My goodness, sir. Hi. Hi. Yesterday was Diablo's 15th rescue anniversary. My goodness. Yay. Happy anniversary, Diablo. Yeah, I know. I know. He's a good boy. He is such a good boy. Cyrus, you're such a good boy. Um, so I think the girls did a Catterday Live yesterday. And I'm sure they did show Dee Dee. But I would like to see Diablo. And then later this afternoon, I'm not going to go live for it because he never trusts <laughs> the camera. And usually we have to kind of creep back up and catch him enjoying his enrichment. But he will be getting his anniversary enrichment 
that his favorite keeper, Sarah D, created for him. She's been working on it for weeks. Yeah! Because her cat keeps trying to attack it and play with it at home. So she leaves it for me in the garage and then I bring it in so it's safe and sound at work. <laughs> it's been a relay race for Diablo's enrichment. She made a really adorable, it kind of looks like a little refrigerator. And inside of it are all of Diablo's favorite foods. And of course she made all of them out of like paper and safe things for him to roll around on and shred and scent mark and all of that. And uh, it's the cutest. She made like little chicks. She made little shrimpies, fish. <laughs> Just all these cute things out of basically paper mache. Lots of detail and love went into that. So that'll be really cute. I think Aaron and I and Sarah are going to hand that out to him later. And then I'm going to just try to get some videos and photographs that we can share on social. So make sure that you are following our Facebook. Make sure you are following our Instagram. There's our work group. Working hard. And if you are not a 99 cent a month supporter, you could definitely do that as well because I will try to get some supporter videos. That's assuming he lets us uh, watch him enjoy his enrichment. Sometimes he does, sometimes he doesn't. So we will see which way it goes today. In the meantime, we'll go say hi to him. Thank you to everybody who sponsored him yesterday. If you missed out, you could still sponsor him today. BigCatRescue.biz. We have started the March sponsorship kits where at the end of the month, whoever has sponsored a cat or multiple cats in March, your name will get entered in a drawing chosen at random and then you'll win a prize. The March prize is going to be a Kimba paw print. Hi Dee Dee. Hi sir. Where are we going? Where are we going kiddo? Did you eat your breakfast this morning? Did you eat that breakfast this morning? Oh that's a very cozy spot. That's a very cozy spot Dee Dee. Look at that boy. Thanks for hanging out. You're gonna get the most fun enrichment later? Probably the work group will probably be done by then and there will be less weed eaters. Yeah. Were you such a good boy yesterday? Happy 15th, buddy. You've been living here for 15 years? I'm so happy I have gotten to know you for eight of those. Yeah. Eight of those years. Sleepy boy. Look at you using your Kularu. It is pretty muggy out. You probably definitely need that Kularu. So again, this is Diablo. He's the one I was talking about getting his anniversary enrichment. He'll get that later today and we'll try to send out some of that stuff to social for you guys. I saw that a lot of people donated towards him yesterday on Facebook, so thank you. 15 years of caring for a picky hybrid. He's on special um, canned cat food in the evenings. He still gets a variety of food in the morning. He's on a split diet. He's also on a twice a day medication for high blood pressure. He had actually a block um, in his urinary tract last, last August which is why he's on the special canned food now. So we're always keeping an eye on him. Hybrids can be very picky. They can have a lot of different health issues. Let's 
because they're man-made. They are born dazed and confused. They don't know if they're supposed to be a wild cat or a happy cat, a friendly cat. I know I've got a cat at home that is quite ferocious. <laughs> I have a 15-year-old that'll still strike you for no reason. So you just never even know with a domestic cat, but then when you start messing with these wild bloodlines, which he would be mixed with African serval. Makes him one tough dude. We sure do love Diablo. It's absolutely amazing to me that he's lived here for so long. When I first started, there were still quite a few cats from the original fur farm rescues in the 90s, and of course they had lived here for over 20 years or so. But some of the ones that came in after, not from the original rescues, starting to see those numbers. Crawl. I think Diablo and Dez both have been here for over a decade for sure. Alright, where's that noisy neighbor of yours? I heard he had housekeeping last week. I heard he had housekeeping. Let's see if we can find Beecher. Thank you to everybody helping out in the comments. Oh, there you are. Hi. I figured you were in this den. I was going to come sneak up and see you. I see that they cut your grass. Oh, no. They cut your grasses. They cut those grasses on that beach boy. What's the haps this weekend? Yeah, you can't do that. There's no more grass on that side. They cut it all down. They had to mow it. It's going to start growing like crazy. As soon as we had this pollen explosion. Yeah. As soon as the pollen explosion happened, we got to start cutting this grass now impossible to keep up with. For some reason, he really likes this den lately. He spends a lot of time in this one. <laughs> Hi, kiddo. Hi, kiddo. Hi. Hi. Hi, Sneaky. I hear you purring. I hear you purring. I should have brought you a spice bag. That'd be a lot more interesting than trying to eat grass that's not there no more. So this is Beecher. Beecher's also a man-made hybrid. He's an F1 savanna cat. You can see he looks a bit more exotic than Diablo. Diablo and Beecher both have kind of a common domestic cat face to an extent, but they both have those wild stripes and spots and ear flashes and sassy personalities can change in an instant. Yeah, I see your face. Both are very picky. When Beecher first arrived, it was like pulling teeth to get him to eat food. Now he does pretty good. 
Oh, you have a bag over there. There's a bag over there. Do you see it? No. Yeah, we have to keep up with cage maintenance, which means raking, going inside raking, weed eating, putting new grass seed down and such, because this is also the time of year when the bugs get crazy. And while we treat them for all kinds of parasites preventatively, also means we've got to get rid of the leaves that house the fleas and all other types of yuck bugs. This is Florida, so we're full-time fighting against the jungle at all times. <laughs> Beecher really has become Diablo's like emotional support buddy. Diablo has always loved um, his neighbors and every time he gets a new neighbor, sometimes he's skeptical, but generally he jumps right in to loving that neighbor. I can think of at least three previous servals that lived over in this area that Beecher was very, very happy to see and so when Diablo started getting a little bit picky with his um, food or if he gets picky with his medication we can usually give Beecher a little treat or a little something right next to Diablo and then that makes Diablo want to do it right you're a very good buddy you're a very good other cat buddy when you can't actually get to them I have a feeling you'd be frisky. I have a feeling you'd be pretty frisky. Diablo actually still, luckily for him, has his claws, but Beecher's previous owner did fully declaw him, thinking it might make him less dangerous, and it did not. He still got those big teeth. Those big old teeth. Those big old teeth. Yes. All right. Let's see here. Let's go see if we can see chaos. Maybe we'll surprise her and she'll actually be out where we can see her, but maybe not. Maybe not. And we can also check in on Max and Marianne. I believe they'll probably still be separated from breakfast, but... We will see. I think I'm going to try to approach Chaos from a different direction, see if we can catch her this time. <laughs> I wish she would just be out on her platform, but that's her afternoon routine. Oh, I do see her. Hi, Chaos. Can I please show you today? There she is. Hi, pretty girl. Hi, pretty, pretty. Can we say hi to you? She usually darts right into that den. That's 
that's what she did. Why do you like me in the afternoons, but not in the morning? There's no rhyme or reason to it. And she always puts herself in a spot where I can't even zoom in on her. <laughs> Like, she just totally disappeared. Had I not zoomed in to show you that she exists, you wouldn't have noticed. Nope. Not a... I was really hoping she would, like, run in that direction. Okay, I'm gonna start taking this personally, like I need any more heartbreak. Like I need any more heartbreak, Chaos. You're too cute not to share. <sighs> okay, well, not one of you can say I don't try. Definitely try with her. Mm -mm -mm sort of hoping she'd like creep back out as she heard me leave, but nope. I think she knows she's one of the least sponsored cats here, so she's like, yeah, screw it. <laughs> I do try to show her so that she'll get more supporters, but, you know, a girl wants what she wants, I guess. And that's privacy. So, these two are probably still separated. Thank you. And we'll just have to search. But they're doing really well. They're constantly seen together playing and running around. So that's a really good thing. Max was not totally sure he enjoyed this move at first. And even before Manny was moved out of the area, they were already hanging out, playing on their Coolaroos. They love these like short little platforms for some reason. You'll always find one on top and one hiding under the bottom. <laughs> it's really funny. Well, there's a Max. There's a Marianne. Marianne! Are you chasing those little birds? Are you chasing those little birds? I hear an angry squirrel. Who's over there? Max must be over there. I see which door is down. This is Mary and Bobcat. I think Max is up front on his platform. Have you been climbing those trees? Those look like good trees to climb in. I remember this one right here was Andy Bobcat's favorite. Andy Bobcat's favorite. Hi.
nice to see them settle in so quickly. I know, is the pollen getting to you too? I think that's what's happening with Zucari. Zucari had sort of like a quarter sized little red patch on his forehead that we're watching closely, but it's likely just from the amount of pollen falling out of the sky. I mean, this is just insane. Like, there's definitely more pollen on the ground than leaves now. <laughs> All right, let's go find your boy. So this is the door that's closed. So that means Maxie has to be up here somewhere. Don't see him. Oh, he is on the platform. Okay, because I was like, I don't see him, but there's a little, there's a bump there. <laughs> that means there's a Maxie. There he is. Oh, look at that precious boy, super snoozing. There's Max. So Max and Marianne are in the same enclosure. They were introduced very young when they both showed um, signs that they might like a, a playmate. And they were slowly introduced and have lived together ever since. But big cats really kind of are, well, they are solitary by nature. So unless they're raising young or they're growing up with siblings, for the most part, they prefer to be alone. Um, and so when we, have cats that share space like this, we separate them um, for important things like feeding them, doing operant conditioning, unless there are two people present both doing it. Same thing with enrichment. If there are two people handing it out, we don't necessarily separate them, but we never want to give them the feeling that they need to compete or fight for food or toys or attention. So that is why you saw Marianne walk through multiple bubbles. These guys have a football field length, if not bigger. <laughs> it's just really hard to see because of the way the enclosures twist and turn and kind of close in on themselves. Um, there's lots of curved walls, and so it's almost impossible for you to actually see how big an enclosure is. I created a series of videos at dailybigcat.com called home tours where I was walking around every single cat in every single enclosure and pointing out all of their um, space and what was in the space. But we move cats around so often that a lot of those are pretty outdated. A lot of those cats are now in even larger enclosures than they were. Oh, hi. You have some very rowdy squirrels chasing each other above your head. <laughs> But these guys have like, gosh, like a dozen or more bubbles and each bubble is 12 to 1800 square feet. So lots and lots and lots of space. But for feeding time, we still separate them. And then when their cleaners come around, because we have cleaners, we have feeders every morning between eight and nine. And then our cleaners head out by 10, usually cleaning till noon or one. There are double checkers that then make sure that the cleaners didn't miss anything. By the afternoon, we're doing enrichment, operant conditioning projects, and then we're ready for PM meds. So start to finish every single day for about 10 to 12 hours is nonstop cat care. And enclosure maintenance, all of that good stuff. Oh, sweet Max. All right, well, let's go find one more cat. We'll try to make it a big cat since I'm gonna head back to my office. That would be the way of the tigers. So we'll see if anybody's out invisible. 
I walk back around this corner. Try to end on a, a good a good note. Not a cat that's running from us. <laughs> I blame my relationship with Cyrus on why Chaos hates me. <laughs> Which, she doesn't actually hate me because she does come out for sickles and for operant. She won't allow me to groom her, but she won't allow anyone to groom her. So that's not too, uh, too worrisome for me. But the boy picked me for sure though, so I get it. All right, so Kimba is still out in vacation. I believe he is supposed to be coming back this week, but with possible that exam later this week, I don't know if that will happen on the day where it usually happens. No Jasmine. And no Maxi. When I first walked over, Simba was out in all his glory up on his platform. I don't know if he's still over there though. I don't see an Aria either, uh-oh. Oh, there's Jasmine, but she is facing the wrong direction. and through like a bunch of layers of wire. <laughs> I would not have a good view of her unless she's up there on her platform. I really, really appreciate everybody helping out in the comments. I know I really have not been watching them too much. So apologies if a question hasn't been answered. Definitely keep asking because we have so many wonderful people in our comments that have been following us for many, many years and they know just how to answer stuff. Uh, same deal with, with Aria, she's in that den, but that is not a good view. There's a Simmers. Hi, Bobby. Hi, Simba. I thought you were still on your platform. Hi. <laughs> Hi, good boy. Have you been swimming lately? I feel like I haven't seen you swim a whole lot. Haven't been swimming a whole lot lately. So this is Simba Tiger. He's gonna be the last cat we see today. If you missed any of this, we started all the way out with Duchess and Priya and I gave an update on Priya. So you're gonna wanna rewatch this live. These lives post automatically on our Facebook page as soon as we're done with them. I share them to my Brittany Mira Big Cat Rescue public Facebook page as well. That's a, I post a way less there than we do on the main page. So if you struggle to find the lives um, on the main page with all that content, that's an easier spot to find it. And then a really easy spot to find them is at our YouTube, our main YouTube channel which you can find at bigcattv.com. There's a Q&A with Brittany playlist. That's also where you can go to catch up on any of the Catterday Lives, the Singing Sundays, any vet procedures. They all have various playlists over there. You look pretty content right now, sir. I usually see you super passed out upside down. Super passed out upside down. Yeah. Uh, Don, we are on 67 acres. We have around 40 permanent residents. We just celebrated our 30th anniversary last year. And you can, again, find us on all of the socials. We're on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, LinkedIn, Twitter. All the things. And then we have the main YouTube channel. 
if you ever want to go back and see a lot of past cats and a lot of big cat rescue history you can go to dailybigcat.com and the best way you can help the cats if you can't donate financially is just sharing share 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 our videos share our photos leave comments respond to comments from others just interact socially that helps a lot if you do want to donate you can do that on our website bigcatrescue.org or through our online store bigcatrescue.biz that's where you'll find all of our merchandise that's where you'll find our sponsorship kits so if you would like to sponsor a cat like Simba you can do so on that online store <laughs> you gonna go greet Barbara Ann that's so nice of you and cat there's cat <laughs> I was like who's he talking to <laughs> you'd like blend it in with the environment <laughs> You can go get Barbara Ann. <laughs> Say hi. <laughs> He's leading you somewhere. <laughs> more food, yeah, probably more food. More food. All right, guys. Well, that is it for me today. I believe there is a singing Sunday later today, so keep an eye out for that. And the last link I will put out there for any of you newbies is um, to go read all the backstories of the cats that live here at Big Cat Rescue. You can find that on our website, bigcatrescue.org slash cat bio. And there you will see an entire page of beautiful photos of all these cute cat faces. And you can click on every single one of them read their stories, find their birth dates, their rescue anniversaries, any and all information that we know about them, which is sometimes hard when you rescue an animal, you don't get a lot of info on them. And don't forget, we've got dozens of live cameras all over property, and you can find those at bigcatcams.com. Make sure you set up your Facebook notifications so that when we go live, you know about it. And thank you guys so much. I hope you have a great rest of your day, a great start to your week. And we're going to play this week by ear, knowing that we might have a vet exam. So I will see you guys when I see you. Thanks, everybody.